Oh my gosh, how does your hair get like that? What did you put in your hair to make it so curly? You know, like water? <laughs> water and gel, that's what I put in it. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to tell you guys 10 things I hate about having natural hair. Stay tuned. The first thing I hate is how long it takes to get used to your natural hair. So when I first became natural, it took me forever to figure out how to style my hair. And back then, YouTube wasn't as popular, like there weren't that many girls on YouTube showing how to take care of hair and like even the fact that I lived in Canada, like I could not find any products here at all. And if I did, they were extremely expensive, they were so overpriced, it was the worst. So the second thing that I hate about having natural hair is that it's so hard to find good products here in Canada. They're not priced for an arm and a leg. They are so expensive here, it's ridiculous. And it's so hard to find them too. Like if you're looking for a specific product, you're going to be searching the whole city trying to find that one product. So yes, it's very difficult to find products here in Canada that are not extremely overpriced. Number three is that you usually turn into a product junkie. So since it's so hard to find products here in Canada, I used to go to the States and buy a whole bunch of products and bring them back with me because I knew that if I ran out, I would not be able to get the products again until the next time I went to the States. So I would go there and, you know, research online, research on YouTube to see what products seem to be working for people with similar hair, uh, curl patterns like me. And I would go and find those products in the States, like in New York or when I go to Florida to visit family. I would go to the Walgreens, the Target, you know, CVS, anywhere that had these products, Walmart, and I would buy a whole bunch of them and make sure that I pretty much brought a whole extra luggage just to carry them back with me. And then you'd bring them back home and try them out and sometimes some of them don't even work for you. Like I have a whole bunch that don't even work and now I don't know what to do with them. I guess I'm going to have to give them away or keep trying to fit them into my regimen somehow. But that's another thing that I hate about having natural hair. You most often will turn into a product junkie. So number four, you will most likely always go broke shopping for natural hair products. <laughs> so kind of going off the last one, since you do have to go out and buy so much from the States or wherever, you always end up spending all your money on natural hair products. Like the last time that I went to Florida, I remember I took a specific amount of money and I set aside like 75% of that for natural hair products that I could not find up here. And I ended up spending it all at Target, at the Walgreens, at the Walmart. And I was very happy after, but it kind of sucked because I couldn't buy anything else. Number five is one that I'm sure a lot of you can relate with, is when people want to touch your natural hair. When you wear your hair in a wash and go for the first time, like let's say you're, go you're starting a new job and you go, you know, like you wear your hair out for the first time. People are always so amazed. They're like, oh my gosh, how does your hair get like that? And then they just end up shoving their hands in your hair or asking, oh, can I touch it? Like, what does it feel like? And then when they touch it, it's like, wow, it's so soft. Or wow, I didn't know it would feel like that. And I don't, I don't know how to, um, I don't know. That's just really annoying to me. I don't like people touching my hair. I don't, I try not to touch it myself. So I'd appreciate it if you would touch it. Because I don't know where your hands have been, and I'm a germaphobe, so I, I don't even like touching my hair if I have touched other surfaces and I haven't washed my hands. So, yes. Number five, people always trying to touch your hair. Number six is people asking how your hair gets so curly. I always get this question like, every time I meet someone new or if I freshly just washed my hair the night before and it's extremely curly. They're like, oh my gosh, how does your hair get like that? What did you put in your hair to make it so curly? You know, like water? <laughs> water and gel, that's what I put in it. Oh, I guess leave in conditioner too. But even so, my hair is naturally like that. Or they'll be like, oh, how does your hair get like that? What, like, do you, do you perm it? It's like, no, it just grows like that. Another thing I hate about having natural hair is when people ask you if you wash your hair. For some reason, some people think that black people or people with curly hair or afro hair or whatever don't wash their hair very often. And that is not true. I probably wash my hair 
Well, now that I have learned about how to take care of my hair better, I wash it pretty often. I wash it like twice a week. I don't know if that's often or not, but it's often for me because I used to only wash it like once a week back when I would straighten it and have it relaxed. But I do wash my hair. I wash it twice a week. Number eight is that I hate that I can't be lazy with my hair anymore. You know, if you're lazy with your hair, it really shows and you're just gonna have to end up putting it in a bun or like, I don't know, braiding it all the time, which I don't really wanna do because that, even that takes effort. Like, it's actually so hard for me to cornrow my hair. I'm still learning. So I just stick with the twist because that's the easiest thing I can do. Um, but yes, when you have natural hair, you have to make sure you're not lazy and that you have time to do it properly. Or like not even if you're if you're not gonna do it properly, you just have to make sure you have time to do it in general. Like wash day, you have to make sure you have a full day to wash your hair because you have to if you pre-poo, you have to pre-poo, you have to shampoo, you have to detangle, you have to condition, you have to deep condition, and then you have to I don't know, you have to like let your hair sit in the deep conditioner for however long you want, then you have to wash it out, then you have to like detangle it again and then put your leave-in in, put your gel in, and then you have to wait for it to dry. Like, it just takes forever. <sighs> Thank goodness for the weekend. <laughs> Number nine is that sometimes it takes you so long to style your hair, to get it ready on wash day, it takes up your whole day, and then you're hoping and praying that your hair will turn out when it dries. Most times it does not. Like, I, every time I try to do a twist out, it just turns out like a ball of frizz like I literally tried to do that today I took out my hair and it was not happening so I had to put it back into two little buns and like do my flat twist like I always do but I just hate how you always have to put so much effort and so much time into doing your hair and then at the end like it never works out and if it does like you're jumping for joy praising God because it just never happens and number 10 is one that I deal with, I struggle with, I hate. It's the fact that sometimes your hair can have like 50 different curl patterns and 50 different like textures. It is so annoying because it always ends up leaving one side of your hair looking one way and the next side looking a different way. Like I swear my hair is asymmetrical. One side looks shorter than the other and the other side, the curls are so loose that it makes one side look so long and the other just shrinks up. I absolutely hate it. Like, I don't know how to fix that. I guess I have to... I, I don't even know. But that just annoys me so much. I know there's probably nothing I can do about it because that's just how my hair grows, but it really does annoy me. Like, I hate it. I just wish that my hair would look the same on both sides because then I always have one side that looks extremely vol voluminous and then one side that's just flat and like dull and no matter how much I pick it like it just doesn't look the same it just it annoys me so much <laughs> so there you have it guys I hope you guys enjoyed my list of my 10 things that I hate about natural hair if you guys can relate or if you have any other things that I didn't mention leave it in the comment section below I would love to hear because I probably hate the same thing that you do but I just forgot to mention it so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe as well so you can catch my next videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.